welcome to msba training in this session we will be learning connection managers in ssis which are very important in ssis we have wide range of connection managers in ssis so connection managers acts like a bridge between source and destination these are very crucial in etl etl uh, extract transformation and load process so the extraction and the loading happens only with the help of the connection managers we have to choose appropriate connection manager based on the type of source or destination we have so every specific every type of source or destination will have a specific connection manager like if you are if you are dealing with excel files then we we have to use excel connection manager if you are dealing with flat files or xml files we have to deal with respect to we have to use respect to connection managers so as far as ssis uh, we have multiple connection managers wide range of connection managers which can be used to connect most of the available most of the uh, frequently or widely used sources or destinations okay uh, sometimes my source and destination will be same maybe i will be loading data from an sql a uh, server table and loading data into sql server table again or sometimes my source and destination would be different but in respect of what my source or what my destination is these are the connection managers which will be used at both the places source and destination okay uh, so what you see here in this table are the connection managers which are available in ssis so i have to check them in ssis Let's name this connection managers. See, this is a panel where we create uh, connection managers. When you right-click on this, you will see uh, some of the widely used connection managers uh, uh, available immediately on the right-click menu. On the right-click menu, okay. Uh, if you click on New Connection here, you will see all the list of connection managers that are available as part of SSIS. Okay. So. this list is not exclusive so you can add more to this so if you find any time shortage of a type of connection manager you have to deal with source or destination then you can go to microsoft website and uh, download the required connection manager or there is an option to create a custom there is an uh, option to create a custom uh, connection manager using dotnet code in be deployed every connection manager you see he is a dll dynamic link library this created on dotnet platform by microsoft uh, microsoft corporation see okay so let's uh, discuss in general what are the uh, what is the importance or significance of each of the connection manager that we see here uh, you see ado ADO is a, a very old uh, type of uh, connection manager which will be uh, so uh, this was a object model uh, which was there as part of uh, access ms access or early versions of excel so when the data was uh, maintained in a distributed format this is a, these are the type of drivers which were used for uh, dealing with data now we don't use this uh, adwo not net uh, drivers anymore so uh, this was uh, in the time of uh, vb before dot net when microsoft was uh, promoting virtual uh, visual basic vb okay then in place of vb we got uh, vb was replaced by dot net dot net framework much more and uh, advanced and powerful powerful framework so this when the dot net was introduced the drivers which were there on the visual basic were uh, recreated and branded as adwo dot net 
So these are the data drivers which are proposed, uh, which were redeveloped using .NET platform. Okay. Here I want to tell the difference between VB.NET and VB. So VB Visual Basic was before .NET. VB is a platform, just like .NET. So it, uh, when when people were dealing with VB, were working on VB, they had ADVO. When people started working on .NET, they have ADVO.NET. So don't get confused with VB.NET. VB.NET is a language, whereas VB is a framework. VB.NET is a language just like C Sharp, which are supported by .NET. So to peep, uh, for the people who are working on VB to get them to get them transitioned easily onto .NET, VB.NET was made part of .NET. Okay, so VB.NET is a part of .NET, which is a language, just like C Sharp. Okay, so when we are when we have to create custom drivers, we can use either uh, VB.NET or C Sharp to create custom drivers, custom connection managers. If in case we feel shortage of the connection managers, we already have here, which is very rare, which is very very rare scenario. Okay, then we have cache cache transformation. Yeah, this is a temporary uh, storage connection manager, which is part of uh, SSIS. So if we have to deal with uh, any uh, temporary data as part of uh, SSIS uh, package workflow, when a package gets executed only during the process of uh, its execution if temporarily a set of data has to be stored in RAM then we use this cache connection manager okay uh, so we don't deal with any physical source or physical destination only the data at the time of execution if, if in case needed to be stored in RAM for temporary reason we will use this connection, connection manager as soon as the package completes its execution all the data in this cache connection manager will be wiped out. Then we have uh, data quality services connection manager which is used for uh, connecting to the data services databases. And we have Excel for Excel files, then file, flat file. Yeah, we have to understand the difference between file and flat file. File is for creating folders, moving folders, deleting folders, copying files into folders, all that stuff. We don't physically write anything into the file. We do folder level operations. In that, in such scenario, we will use file connection manager. And flat file connection manager is specifically for reading data or writing data from flat file or to flat file. Okay. Uh, so flat files are mostly comma separated or tab separated precisely delimiter separated files delimited files so those are the flat files to read or write we use a flat file connection manager okay and then we have FTP file transfer protocol connection manager HTTP hyperlink text protocol okay so if we have to read or write to an FTP server we use this FTP connection manager same way if we have to read or write from a web service then we use HTTP MSMQ Microsoft Message Queue. Okay, this Microsoft Message Queue will be part of uh, Windows operating system. If you know the queue concept, first in, first out, yeah, first in, first out, FIFO is a queue concept. So if you want to store the data in a queue, we can use uh, this connection manager. This will be part of uh, uh, Windows operating system. Okay exclusive for Windows operating system. There are queues. Uh, temporarily, we can uh, store data in this queues. Uh, imagine like uh, you are reading data from a POS point of sale. So, uh, if uh, the transactions get generated at the POS and immediately you are reading the transaction, whatever the gen uh, transaction that is getting generated at the point of sale. Point of sale on a superstore or a petrol bunk, whatever. Okay, so instead of reading directly the transaction file, if we queue it, means if we send uh, the transaction file that is generated at POS, point of sale, into a queue, and if we read data 
if we do ETL uh, reading from Q, then the advantage we have is in case if ETL fails or if there is a network failure, uh, all the data can be queued up, will be queued up in the queue and nothing will be lost. Okay, and transactions can be still be generated even if we are not reading the files because they are getting stored in a queue. They are never lost and business is not stopped. So there are many practical scenarios uh, where queues are used uh, in a real-time integration services and SSIS can read to those queues uh, from those queues using this connection manager MSMQ. Microsoft Message Queues. Then we have MSOLAP, Microsoft Online Analytical Processing. So this is uh, when we are uh, uh, dealing with analysis services cubes, we will use this. Multi-file, multi-flat file. Yeah, if we are dealing with uh, multiple files uh, in a folder, then we use uh, multi-file, just uh, plural of file if you have more files to be moved then multi file if you have more files to be read multi flat file OLEDB very popular very uh, famous uh, can connect to any kind of RDBMS OLEDB that those are the drivers we use for connecting to RDBMS or Agile or error data or MS SQL server whatever uh, and very, very efficient, very efficient, fast, reliable, reliable, uh, there won't be any data loss or any kind of thing. I mean most of the drivers uh, are reliable but OLEDB are, we will, we will do that study also. Why OLEDB are powerful compared to ODBC and uh, ADWA.NET. ODBC, so these are the drivers which were created in competition to JDBC. Nobody is using these drivers now. Then we have uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So this is a connection manager which is specifically created for SQL Server. Microsoft SQL Server. When we have to do a bulk recompilation of all the views in a database then we can use this it will iterate to all the objects you specify the objects it will iterate through maybe stored procedures or views or tables and we can do bulk operations on SQL server SQL server management objects very very exclusive for MS SQL server then we have SMTP simple mail transfer protocol we can read mails, send mails, yeah, we can do that stuff uh, using SSIS, using this connection manager. Assume that at the end of the execution of the package, you want to communicate to business user that the ETL operation has completed. Yeah, we will use this SMTP task and send out a mail. In case of failure, you want to alert your administrator, package administrator. You can shoot a mail using this SMTP protocol. Then for compact devices, SQL Mobile. Then we have uh, Windows Management Instrument. Exclusive for Windows Server. Windows Server Operating System. Mostly this MSMQ also will be dealt with uh, Microsoft uh, Windows Operating System. Okay, so these are the connection managers that we have. And what are the common connection managers that we use in day-to-day -day ETL operations? We will use Excel, we will use file, we will use flat file, we will use OLDDB, SMTP and sometimes FTP, HTTP, MSMQ.